Welcome to Multicultural Musings. Today we're looking at post boxes or mailboxes around the world. We're starting off in the Netherlands with the orange public mailbox that always comes as a double. The left hand box is for local letters and the right hand box for national and international letters. Post Netherlands will supply citizens with an official green post box for their homes if requested. Otherwise, citizens can buy their own if they don't like this design. People living in old buildings typically have a slit in the front door as a letter box. This one says letters on the front. You can distinguish between authentic old letter slots which are quite small and modern ones that are designed to look old but are larger to manage newspapers and bigger items of post. Here is an old terracotta post slit with a bugle which was the old sign of the post office. Here is another terracotta style. If a family is Catholic they may have an icon of the Virgin Mary near the post box. This one says Onze lieve vrouw van altijd dieren de bijstand. Lady of perpetual help. Here is a simpler icon of Mary. This house has the old-fashioned post box and a modern post box. You can put a sticker on your post box like this, which says no to flyers and marketing materials and yes to the free local newspaper. This helps cut down on promotional flyers filling the post box, but also means missing out on special offers. In Germany, the typical home mailbox is locked. The postman can open the top and drop letters in, but you need a key to get your post out. These post boxes are all attached to the fence or gate of the property. This house in Germany is quite unusual as the postman just pops the mail behind the slats here. These are public post boxes and this is the postman's transport in smaller towns and villages. Here in the small village in Sweden all the post boxes are lined up together in a central location to save time for the post delivery. This is a public mailbox in Croatia, and here is one in Japan. This is a row of post boxes in a gated community in South Africa, and here is an artistic post box in Melbourne, Australia. The mailboxes in Michigan in the USA have fascinated me since my arrival. They're all placed right at the side of the road so the mail person doesn't have to leave their vehicle. The vehicle is designed with a steering wheel on the pavement side so the driver can pull up next to the post box and put the mail in there. It can be rather scary to be the passenger in a vehicle that drives too close to the side of the road and you watch all the mailboxes coming towards you. It's not uncommon to see post boxes knocked over. This is the standard post box seen all around Michigan and made of durable plastic, but there's a wide variety of mailboxes around. Here's a really funky one. The other interesting thing here is the little flag on the side of the box. I always thought it meant the mail person had put mail in your box, but actually, if you have a letter to be mailed, you put it in your mailbox and lift up the flag so that the mail person knows they have to collect something. The USA is completely designed around convenience, with drive through everything, and so it's just the same if you want to put a letter in a public mailbox. Here you just pull up next to the curb and pop your letter in the box without leaving your vehicle. This video would not be complete if I did not show a picture of the iconic red British public mailbox. And finally, this is Inle Lake in Myanmar. The inhabitants here all live on the lake in houses on stilts, and every building is on stilts, even the fabulous post office. Remember, if you have some post box pictures to share, please send them to me and I could make a part 2 video about post boxes around the world. Please like and subscribe to my videos and visit on Facebook and Instagram. Adios, farewell, tight and hamagashle!